Good day and welcome to the channel. In this very short video, we're going to explain how to fix a really obnoxious problem with links in Microsoft Outlook. A few months ago, Microsoft made a change to Outlook and Microsoft Teams so that links always open up in Microsoft Edge no matter what you've set your default browser to be. Let me show you what that is and I'll explain how that's annoying even for people that like Edge like me. I love Edge. It's my chosen browser. Sort of. So let me just show you this. Here's an email that I received. If I click the link, this is the browser I'm taken to. And you think, hmm, that's a bit odd. If I look in here and I go to About Microsoft Edge, you can see it's the regular build of, 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 of Edge. I don't want that. So most of you are uh, who are watching this are probably using Chrome as your default. So let's just show you that I actually set my default browser to Chrome. So if I go to default apps, Chrome, and I go here, you can see set default. There it is. Yet, when I click the link, I'm still taken to Microsoft Edge. Man, that's annoying. So what you have to do is go to your Outlook and click file in the top left hand corner and go down to options, which because I've got, well, let me just expand this out. Go to options. And Microsoft has buried this new setting way down in advanced. This took us quite a while to find. And you can see here, link handling. Okay, we're going to interject here because between the time when we recorded this video and when we released it, Microsoft made a change and they've now called that section file and browser preferences. So you now need to go to file and browser preferences. However, we're leaving the original in here in case they change it back to link handling at some point in the future. It's still the same setting, it's just in a different section. Back to our originally scheduled program. Show previews for links when you add them to emails. Open hyperlinks from Outlook in, so they didn't even have the gumption to make it a sort of a regular checkbox here. They buried it here. And what are our choices? Surely all of the browsers are here. Uh, no, Edge and not Edge. What? So they're giving their own product this gigantic preference that most people are never going to find. So get this, it gets worse. When I click default browser and I click OK, now when I click a link, so let's click this one. Oh, it launches Chrome. But if I launch Microsoft Edge by itself, you get these obnoxious messages like this. Links from Outlook open in Microsoft Edge so you can see without switching, blah, 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 blah. And here are your choices, use Edge or change settings. There's no way to actually get rid of this. You can't just click past it or click somewhere else on the screen or press escape. You have to press one of these two buttons or it stays on top. Take a look at what it did when I went to Amazon. Same message, but up at the top here. At least this is a little bit better. This is really obnoxious. So even for me to use Edge Beta, right, the dev build, I have to go to here, click more, click options in my case, click advanced, and then set it to the default browser. Boom. Now when I click, it takes me to Microsoft Edge version that I want to use. And I'll just show you that very quickly. Let's go down to settings, about, edge, beta, just like I would like to use. Holy crap, that's obnoxious, Microsoft. And to bury the settings so far down is just a dirty trick. Hey, if you would click like, well, I would really appreciate this. Subscribe's also appreciated. If you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can always leave a question or comment below and someone will get back to you because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.